Hello there, fellow space engineers. I am the Linking Tinker. Today I want to show you a little something I've been working on. This is the Corn Industries Small Ship Building Factory version 2.0. Now, since the original version, a lot has changed, chiefly being that this station is now fully survival ready. Yes, I know, I said that about the last version, but this time it's for realsies. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is connect our cargo ship up to the landing bay here and lock it in. There we go. We've got all our components in there. And you'll notice that the landing bay is now out front here, which gives you much more easy access to the purchasing platform. You'll also notice that the projections are now located on the outside of the station instead of on the inside, so the days of staring through tinted glass and trying to see what you're going to buy are gone. When you walk up to the purchasing platform, a program takes a look at the components that are available in any cargo containers that are attached to the station or part of the station. There are a few large containers down there, so you can store some items for future use. And this first screen here will tell you your, your available components, and it won't look at any components inside uh, like welders or conveyor connectors or anything like that, just cargo containers, so keep that in mind. Uh, the cost of the ship, uh, the cost of the currently selected ship is right here, and the difference between the available components and the cost of the ship are right here. So if any of these numbers are not zero, you know that you don't have enough components to finish your ship. If you try to hit the buy button right now and you've got like a few pieces missing, it'll still try to build it. So you'll be sad. It will leave you with a half finished ship and it'll be terrible. But let's look for a ship that we actually have the components for. Uh, no. And there we go. Zero's down the line. Perfect. We've got a mining ship, which is perfect to start out with. So all you need to do now is hit buy. As you'll notice here, the construction stem is completely gone, and in, instead of just welding it off of that, you, we take the projector completely off of the wheel and reattach it to a construction rod over here. Now it'll begin to weld. As you'll notice, it's doing it fairly slowly compared to in creative mode. Uh, it's important in survival mode that you have the game weld speed in advanced settings set to times five at least. Otherwise, it won't weld it fast enough. If you decide to copy and paste this into one of your own worlds. So now it'll retract and slowly build your ship. And then once it senses that it's done, it will retract the rest of the way and then it will replace the projector back onto the wheel and it'll be fully functional after that. And then it'll reset the, the projection over there and now it'll begin to bring out your brand new ship. As you'll notice the thrusters are off and that will soon be remedied. Uh, we're using uh, merge blocks instead of landing gears, which are a much more stable way of grabbing onto the ship. And now the thrusters are turned on. As you can see, it was connected via tubes, so it gave it some uh, uranium as it was being built. So now it is fully functional and ready to be flown away. And there we go. Fully functional ship in only a, a minute or two. Awesome. So if you don't like your ship, you can just take it over here to the junket station. Now this is basically just a deconstructor. All you need to do is bring it in, make sure it's close enough to landing gears. Get out, and once you leave, the landing gears will automatically lock on, and you're ready to deconstruct your ship. Now just press this button, the door will close, and the grinders will turn on and start coming down. Now if you're going to use this junket station, uh, and you've copied this into your own world, it's important to remember that you also need to have tool shake turned off in your advanced settings, because if it's not, then, well, basically 
stuff is going to fly all over the place and it's going to get stuck inside the grinder array and the sensor is going to sense that and it's just going to stop working and it's going to be terrible. So make sure that if you copy this and paste it in your own world, that you have tool shake off as well as welder speed set at times five at least. So basically as it's grinding this here, you'll notice that the piston over here is, oh, come on, it's my rotate button, there we go. It's going to take the components directly out of the grinders and bring it back here into the main uh, tube setup, uh, which is also connected back to your ship. So you can just go in here, take a look at your inventory, and you'll be able to see, hide empty, uh, your components being brought back into the system. So yeah, you can get all your stuff back if you don't like your ship. Now this system can be a bit janky. Uh, sometimes it'll stop working because the piece floats into a strange position where it can't actually grind it, but it's still in the sensor range. Uh, especially it gets kind of strange near the end, and which means that you might have to reset it a bit. And you can do that with the second button, or fourth button, over here. Uh, yeah. So it looks like it's working pretty well right now. I've noticed that if you get the ship a little too close to the uh, landing gears, then it, it doesn't work so well. Well, it, it should have retracted there. We'll have to manually retract it this time. So we'll just hit this button, and it's done. There you go. So you got all your components back. From birth to death. All right. So that's pretty much everything for the layman. If you want to build your own ships, that's how you do it. If you want to put your own ships in this station, I'm going to be making another video that shows you how to do that. So you can watch that and yeah. So I hope you have a good time and hope you enjoy. See you later.